Right. So now we need to figure out what type of development environment that will be the right the right decision for you to choose. And there is a wide variety of environments that are uh, available for you. Uh, specifically, the development environment you choose will dictate a large portion of your own happiness. So now we're going to look into some of these uh, virtual uh, cloud and local environments. So the ones you more, more than likely encounter are your local environments. And then this is typically your machine that you have. So this could be your uh, Mac, this could be your PC, or this could be your Linux box. Uh, virtual environments are virtual machines that live inside your local environment. So this would be typically uh, some sort of virtualization uh, type of software or hardware is used to virtualize a machine. And the last one is cloud environments. So the cloud environments usually typically live in a off remote location. This is more than likely something like AWS, DigitalOcean. Uh, there's a wide variety of uh, providers that offer you cloud computing for you to be able to use. Uh, we'll look at cloud environments and some of the benefits there as, as well. Development environments have very specific uh, positives and negatives. For example, the local environment is very easy. You don't have to know about virtual machines. You don't have to about, know about cloud. You don't have to know anything. Your local environment is pretty much your computer. You can start programming in it right away. Uh, so there's definitely some benefits to that, but there's also some um, side effects to you to if you decide to go down that path. Virtual environments are the next step up from that, which allow you to obviously have a virtual machine that is contained with all its dependencies. And the cloud environment is, is obviously the next step after the virtual machine, which is uh, a cloud infrastructure that you can actually log into and, and program on the cloud what circumstances you have, one of these will typically uh, appeal more towards uh, what you're doing. So if you have, if you don't want to deal with any of the complexities of virtual and cloud, you can just go with the local environment. If you have a team of individuals that are working all independently, maybe a virtual environment will be good. Or maybe if you have an entire team that you need to collaborate real time with, then you might look into cloud environments. So depending on uh, what stage of your career you're in, one of these will appeal, appeal more towards you than the others.